hello and welcome to our fifth and final round with Death Shadow Aggro. Pretty clear keep here. Uh, we get to lead on Street Wraithing. As I shouldn't F6 in case of... Ooh, Tron. Okay. So I probably want to fetch black, red. It guarantees these, and then I get to fetch. This is the best land in the deck. So I should fetch black, red, because that guarantees me playing this, and then my other fetch can go for whatever drop I want next turn. Not using the mutagenic there. There's no reason to. And in theory, oh, they're just Eldrazi Tron. I don't think there's a reason to use a mutagenic yet either. I think that that can just hang out. So I guess. No, the reason is so I can be able to dump my hand in the face of a Thought Not Seer. So I am going to blow that this turn. I guess the green black's in my hand, so that's kind of awkward. So I have to fetch the white red off of this. Oh, that was... Uh, no, okay, okay, we're, we'll, we're still cool. I forgot to, that I actually want to... No, I want to save the bolt. So the bolt can go whenever. I don't need to get the damage out of it, but this getting the bonus damage is pretty key. Um, but I forgot to think about uh, maybe not wanting to use my Blood Crypt to pay for Lightning Bolt if I have to cast it. Like, my opponent casts, like, Warping Whale there in response to my Mutagenic Growth. And now, in order to leave Bolt up, I have to get Godless Shrine and take two. Which is fine, because I was planning on playing that one anyways. Like, I had to fetch main phase regardless. Okay, so we're just going to map probably for another Tron piece. Ooh, another Temple. So we're just going to get Smashered, huh? Oh my gosh, did I do this right? I feel so smart. Take nothing. Um, four from six is not lethal, but it still fetches that. Opponent's nowhere near doing anything super scary. I just have to stay... Oh, gosh, I don't want to go to 5 life, though. So what if I cast this with mana? Stay at 7. I like that. 5 life being key because of Smasher. So my opponent's at 6, Thought Not Seer's dead. And I don't see a reason to expose that. So I can only get single smashered. I can't really die from that board state. Yeah, there's some crazy nonsense with your life total that happens once you get into like the 8 to 5 range. We really have to think about what's going on. Okay. I 
could get all his dusted next turn. You know what? If my opponent has all his dust, I'm willing to accept defeat to all his dust. Especially because this is just going to die anyways to so to the seer. So I may as well just get as much value out of my position as possible. And if I get dusted, I get dusted. Hooray! I did not get dusted. Uh, so, this is just a weird one. So I don't, I guess, maybe Stony Silence is okay? Lightning Bolt did not seem excessively exciting. All it really kills is Reshaper. Inquisition did not seem super exciting either. Dismember. There we go. That's what I want. It's upgraded bolt. Mutagenic's just your like hyper all in aggro card, so it's great. I guess Tarmogoy's like potentially bad. I don't think they're gonna board in relic. If they do, I can adjust. I really have no idea what they're doing, so I don't want to make my deck significantly worse. So I'm just gonna jam on them. And I'm pretty sure Inquisition lines up poorly with the Eldrazi cards. And it's not like they're the same deck as the um Whoa. Just trying to get the chat box behind that. It's not like they're the same deck as normal Tron, where I'm like shutting off Chromatic Stars and other good top decks uh, with Stony Silence. I'm probably just shutting off like almost exactly uh, Expedition Map. I don't know how I feel about this hand. It's not very good, actually. Uh, is it good enough on the draw? This has to fetch white, red, or green, red. Yeah, we'll see. Oddly, that's a uh, reassuring thing to see. Uh, I shouldn't have done it this way. Eh, maybe I do want to max damage here. I was thinking, so Sam talks about, and is like right above the deck, about sometimes it's better to maximize info over damage. But I don't think this is a spot where that's super relevant. Okay, that's nice. So there's a Reshaper, Seer, Endless, Dismem, Ghost Quarter. This game is not going to go very nice for me. That's a pretty key draw. This is super awkward. That both of those are in my hand and I've taken the damage. I don't think there was any way around what just happened. Um, because I'm only going to go to 13 life if I play one of these untapped. Because these are both in my hand. I guess I could have thought about that from turn one. Um, that might have been a reason to mulligan this hand. Is that specific interaction between like Heath Heath uh, and those two lands. Because I do have a Black Source, but it's the Blood Crypt, which is what the Heath can't fetch. Yeah, I'm going to lose the Death Shadow most likely. Because that's the thing that actually stands up to my opponent. So actually, I played the wrong land last turn, thinking about it more. I wanted to like save the option on the Heath for after with like a Step Links. But just looking at the cards in my hand, 
If my opponent takes this Death Shadow, I'm not in a position to really care about them. Ooh, I like that. That makes me a little less scared of what's happening here. Interesting. Shadow. Lynx is probably just better to get on the battlefield at this point. Can actually get something out of it. Yeah, so if my opponent took the shadow, I wanted the flexibility. I wanted the fetch in play. Because then I can save my life total so I can fetch for a tapped land and then do all this stuff. Uh, I know my opponent still is a dismember. That's pretty bad for me. So I know there's a Dismember and a Ghost Quarter. Those are the two cards in my opponent's hand. Eight is not the right life total for that Death Shadow. So I think I just want to do that. And I think I need to be able to trade step links for a creature here on the defense. So I need to play the land. I don't think this is attacking at all, this game. Oh, that is a very unfortunate draw for me. I was going to lose the shadow either way. I don't think it gets better than this, where I just trade a creature for the 6-6 six, six that my opponent has in play. Like, that has to be the best possible option, right? Like, I just, my opponent just one for one me on creatures. Even though I'm losing my 3-4, I guess I could have traded, like, two creatures. I forgot about Dismember again. I keep mentioning that my opponent has, and I just forgot. I guess I do have to bait that at some point. It's not the most I could have lost to it. I think that Ghost Quarter really hurts me. I don't think there's any red spells I'd want to cast this turn. I can save for that. That's great. This is not... Ooh. I like that. That's a really good draw step. Now to navigate combat. That's the weird part. Okay, well I think that might just be enough to kill me. I haven't thought this through well enough. Uh, so if I block two things, I can take eight, dismember a seer, oh, this is really bad. I think this is my shot. If I draw mutagen off this, interesting. Nope. I don't have the land I need to fetch in my deck. Okay, I'm dead. I will play first for the deciding game, which is probably a big deal here. Koif actually got sufficiently bulky. I'm not huge on mandrels here. Lightning Bolt just seems atrocious, though. So let's just board another dork. 
without reducing our become immense power. I don't really care about replacing my land off Ghost Quarter, I think. If my opponent's strip mining me, that's okay. Yep. This is fine. We'll cycle into a thing. So we lead on Bobble. We Bobble ourselves. We see if there's a creature on top. So we have like four shots at a creature, basically. Five, because of draw step. We get the Bobble cycle. Two more cantrips. Uh, the scry on the Bobble. The virtual scry. And then our next draw step. Well, that's definitely not the one I want. I think I want to get green-red. I think green-red opens the most up. Well, I have to fetch a red land because of my mana. I just don't know if it's green-red or white-red. I think green-red opening up Nicotle on one is the most important. Let's look at my opponent's hand before I make any decisions. Well, Temple, Wreck, Mine, Tower, Waste, Map. They kept Tron. I can respect that. Uh, sure. Okay. This ended up not unreasonable. This ended up way better than not unreasonable. Um... has to get Blood Crypt. I want to get Blood Crypt anyways. I don't think... I guess I'm going to bobble my opponent here just to get the bobble out of my hand. But I wasn't going to... Like, I have to fetch that turn, so I'd rather just do that. Well, there it is. Bye-bye. Kind of shocked that we had so few turn 2 kills. Or turn 3 kills. This deck can kill on turn 2 as well. Take millions and millions of damage. I guess. But I, I, what'd you hit? Oh, Reality Smasher? I was kind of rooting for my opponent to flip an Oblivion Ring there. Okay. And that's it. 3 2 record with this deck. We'll talk about some things in the outro about what could or couldn't be changed.